What's up everyone? This is Dolph Alimara with the Unique Places team at Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm going to have an interesting interview with one of the giants in real estate in the Los Angeles area. We're going to talk about subject to and how can we make money from doing that strategy in this current market. Watch till the end because if you are an investor or a, or a homeowner, this is for you and you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, tell us, uh, tell the audience, what is your name, your company name, and how long you've been in business? Thank you, Dov. Thank yeah. you for having Thank me. You it's so a much. lot of fun. I, I love this, as yeah. you already know, yeah. teaching and mentoring people. Anyways, my name is Sam Sadat, and uh, I have multiple companies. We're in educational, networking, investment, and also finance side of the real estate. It's uh, like everything. Well, yeah, yeah, the part that the part that I like, you know, it's like I don't want to I don't want to chauffeur people around and show them properties and all. That's that's not something that I love. Exactly. I love the paper side of it. Yes. You know, they are not the actual, you know, not actually showing the property. But uh, yeah, we've been doing it for a long time. I've been a broker for 30 years uh, in nice. California. Nice. Uh, excellent standing or good standing. And then also I started my real estate club um, 21 years ago. Nice. Uh, 2003, nice. right here in LA. Uh, uh, and since then, uh, I started a company which, is, uh, which specializes in uh, making private loans. And those private loans are not institutional loans. They are essentially a group of investors and the money that I manage. And I make these, you know, these short-term uh, loans, people in tight spots, buying for fix and flip scenarios, you know, that kind of stuff. Sam, I want you to tell the audience, uh, what is the number one problem in this current market that preventing buyers and investors from buying and keep investing? Right. Tell right. us. Surprise! <laughs> interest rates. Interest right? rate. I, <laughs> I think, of course, I knew you, we all know, we all know that, that interest rates are major hindrance in the people's ability to buy properties, no doubt. But the other part of the equation is not just the high interest rates. We've got a couple of other things, the dynamics in here. Exactly. One of them is the cost of construction. As we all know, the, everything is skyrocketed, yes. you know, after yes. the pandemic. And therefore, the cost of construction from $150, $150 per square foot prior now to maybe 200 now it's about 350 to 600 yeah so it's in, insane mm -hmm. so that's that's why the property values have gone up it's a replace your property replace the structure it costs that much that's exactly. one of the main reasons it's and the other side of it's also the shortage uh inventory of, of inventory yeah, we don't and have a lot of moving people. into los angeles yeah and also the people that have got the loans at two and two and a half and three percent they don't want to sell their properties exactly you know it, it, the natural market was you know people they want to upgrade and yeah exactly and up on uh, supply and demand People want to upgrade and buy another property, so they you know list their property that bought a couple of years ago on the market, but now they're not even selling that property. Exactly. So we're exactly. just getting hit from all over the place, and it's really tough to get into the uh, home ownership right now for multiple reasons. So uh, my follow-up question to you, Sam, is: uh, Is there any strategies that we can use to c battle this like high interest rate market? Right, so right. We still can invest and make money. Right, right. Well, you know, you could you could do that. There is a really great strategy available. Yes. It's mm -hmm. called subject to. Mm -hmm. They also call it sub two. Sub and two. the sub for two short. for short. You know, like in America, everything has to be shortened. You know, yes, it's yes. like condensed. You know, what's your nickname? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, so like my nickname, Dolph. Yeah, Dolph. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, so the subject to uh, it is. It, short 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 answer okay yes. you buy a property and by buy i mean you actually take title to the property okay buy a property where the title is in your name but the mortgage on the property stays in the seller's name okay the person from whom you bought the property right hence subject to hence subject to so you're buying the property subject to the existing loan loan Okay, the first thing people say, oh, is this legal? Yes, it is legal, okay? Yes. As far as legality, there is no it's doubt about legal it. legal and it's doable. And it's doable and it gets and done, done, it it gets done all the time and we're still doing it, yeah. okay? 
But the, here's the thing. It is legal as long as you are good at disclosing everything. Okay, this is what we t teach this real estate. This is like the number one. The ethical uh, way, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, be disclosing, don't hide anything. Seller knows what's going on, because buyer knows what's going on. Because it'll come back in the future and bite you. And you know how it's gonna cost you in the yes. future, you know, yeah. the legal, legal, legal issues. I issues. So you take the property, you buy, you buy subject to the existing loan, make sure seller knows, buyers know, the agents know, everything is disclosed. And by doing so, you're essentially taking over a mortgage that's what? Two and a half, three, three and a half percent? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, As opposed to? Seven percent. Seven, seven and a half percent. Market, yeah. As an example, you're buying a property for 700,000. Show me one for 700,000. Come yes. on, man. Yeah. In LA, are you joking? A million is the, like a little Let's shack. Yeah. 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 So $700,000 property, right? You're yeah. buying that. If What if you just go ahead and uh, take the $500,000 existing mortgage on the property, yes. take that subject to your acquisition of the property, you take that mortgage, meaning you're making the payments on that mortgage. Mm -hmm. uh, because the mortgage- Pay it on time and- Right, yeah. because the mortgage still stays in the seller's name, the okay. homeowner's name. Okay. The mortgage is in their name, they know it, you know it, you're making timely payments on that mortgage. Now you take a $500,000 loan at the rate of 3%, with the P-I-T-I, -I. so what is a P-I-T-I? -I? Principal, interest, tax, and insurance. Exactly. Basically everything exactly. you need. Exactly, so we call it property. pity, what a pity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pity. you gotta pay, oh, yeah, yeah, right. So for- That's a low pity. The yeah. <laughs> At 3%. <laughs> right, 3% interest rate, your uh, your P-I-T-I -I is what, 3,000 bucks, 3, 000. right? Oh, so no, now, 3, now you find the same property, $700,000. The shack, the little shack. The little shack, <laughs> if you're lucky, right? <laughs> 700,000, and then you're gonna have to come up with 20% down payment. Yeah. Oh, and you're getting a loan at 80% LTV, loan to value. value. So you're putting down 20%, getting a loan of 560,000. Yes. So take a guess what a pity is for a 560,000 at the interest rate of 7%. It's uh, around 4,600. 4,600, yeah, yeah. they're about $4,600. So now instead of paying $3,000, 3, you're paying how much? Forty-six. Forty-six hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred more. More. Basic, for the more. same property. For the same property. Same everything. Yeah. Except. Yeah. Uh, you buy it intelligently versus you buying it in the current market, which is right. too expensive. And it's you know when you're talking about intelligently, of course, it's a very viable strategy. But more you know more importantly, you gotta you gotta go out and 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 make that happen. It's just not gonna happen by itself. Exactly. You know what I mean? You have to work for yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pick up the phone, you gotta call the you know distressed homeowners, you know, go to certain areas, go to open houses, talk to people, find get get in touch with the owners if you can, you know, uh, put find the out, energy. Put the basically. energy out there, you know what how can I help you? What's it, you know what? I can give you a solution. Uh, oh, you want the price? Okay, I'll give you the price. But as long as you give me the loan, oh, yeah. how does that work? You explain it to them properly, in writing, speaking, everything. We have all the documents for it. Once you do that, then you can take the, advantage exactly. of it. Exactly. So basically, replacing the price with the terms. You get the terms, they get the asking price. Exactly. Exactly. Of current market exactly. price. So it's like a concession that you make. Exactly. You know? So he is making money. Yeah. You are making money, and everybody is happy. Right. So that's basically that's basically in a very sh very concise and, yeah. and short version. There are multiple strategies within the subject yes. to. Is there like multiple types yeah. of subject to? Yeah, it's going to take without a, going in detail. Exactly, it's going to take a long time, but just the variation of the one we just talked about. Yeah. What if instead of two hundred thousand dollars that you put down to buy that property and yes. getting a, you know a, a, taking over a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage? What if instead of that, you ask the seller and say, hey, what are you going to do with 200000 okay. And the guy says, oh, I'm, uh, I got to do pens, pay uh, dumb debts. I'm moving out of state. I need 150. What are you going to do with the other 50? Put them in the bank. Oh, really? How much are you going to pay? You? How much are they going to pay you? Two, three percent in this market, maybe four percent. If you are lucky. Yeah, if you're lucky. Uh, yeah. What if I offered you seven percent, six percent? How do I do that? You just carry another $50,000 for me. Okay. Okay, you want it, you said Pay you want it 50? On it. Exactly. The major part of the reason you become it's successful. Exactly, successful in real estate, leverage. Leverage. Okay, so you're leveraging. The less money you put into a property, right? 
envision the that. higher the leverage. The, exactly, the higher the leverage and the higher your return on investment. On investment, yes. You know, if you have a zero dump, a zero money invested, and you divide by zero, basically it's infinity. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the the close. The closest to infinity, the better. The better, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So uh, if you have nothing in the property, as in your example, zero yeah. percent, your rate of return is infinite. That's a, that's a, that's a math. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. any number divided by zero. And yeah. then you can create, since now you uh, are saving sixteen hundred, the cash flow will pay for the six or seven percent carry the second loan and then you still and, have some and you left. still have yeah. some money and yeah. then that's your infinity uh, return exactly oh, that, that's very very yeah. good point very yeah. good point yeah. yeah so that that's how it works it very it's a, it's getting popular more popular right now because of the because turn in of the, the market, market because of the high interest rate you just talked about right mm -hmm. because of their high people are finding other ways to do that the beauty of real estate of as you know there are multiple strategies within real estate and exactly. the finance side, the paper side, the private lending side, syndication. There's so many strategies that if you are really understanding it at just like you're learning it so well, yes. it, the more of these strategies, you know, the, the better, better you're going to be able to equ equip to adapt to the market because exactly. we can't, we're not going to change, be able to change the market. We've got to adapt to what is happening with the market. Exactly. I used to, uh, uh, be surprised that uh, hearing people making money in a down market like mm, this. Yeah. And I didn't know how. Yeah. But now that I know, yeah. it's not magic to me. Right. It's steps one, two, three. Two, three. You follow them. Yeah. You increase your leverage and take advantage of the deal. Yes. And make it as as long as you make it uh, beneficial for the homeowners, the exactly. sellers, and yourself then everybody is happy yes. everybody is making money right and not taking advantage of anybody that's that's the goal because you want to do it ethically right. so you will get rewarded and right uh, the 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 the, uh, the objective of every negotiation every transaction the ultimate is satisfaction exactly if you're satisfied i'm satisfied that is a good deal that's a that's good deal a, yeah that's a good deal and everybody the, gets what another they thing need. we just want to add about subject to the beauty of that is you don't have to qualify for a loan no because there is no lender involved you're you not using your credit you're not using your credit you're basically using the down payment or the money that you raised however way okay put it down take the property so because there is no lender involved you have no limits on the number of properties you can buy exactly you can buy That's as many. another leverage point yes yeah yes so multiple ones is it easy no no, no and no. all these promises people make you the gurus from florida nebraska you know hawaii coming over here they don't know shit, excuse the language <laughs> about our market because it's very local very different yes. very unique and secondly and secondly there is nothing easy in life you got to no. work for it exactly. but if you're really interested you have the desire to succeed you want to get out there you want to control your time then put in a little bit of hard work now and then you get the fruits of your labor of, later. of your labor the more energy you produce the the more energy that will come back to you right right thank you so much sam thank for this so lovely much, interview thank you so much guys for watching till the end if you have any questions or comments that me and sam did not cover leave them in the comments below and i will either make a video for it or answer it uh promptly thank you thank and you doll. see you in the next video all right make it a great life don't don't make it a great that. life just yeah. like yeah. what the 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 great guy next to me says well thank you